welcome back with our guest, Amritha. Hi. All right, so this is definitely not part of the vlog, but I'm gonna go and buy a watermelon um, because we're going to the beach today, so this should be really fun. Okay, was that pointless to insert into the video? Yeah, probably. What do most of us do in college? Um, have fun, cry about grades. Uh, oh yeah, and switch our majors. A lot of students change their major. Actually, I just Googled it. 80% of students in the United States, like in, in college and higher education, they change their major. Okay, anyway, so I changed my major to computer science, um, and I did that around December. So when you're planning on switching your major, you want to make sure to look at the prerequisites um, of the major that you want to go into before um, going through the process. Um, definitely look at the cla the extra classes that you might have to take that you haven't already taken, depending on what year you are in. Um, it's It might be a little harder to change majors based on how close or distant they are from each other. It's called like credit by exam. Basically you just take the final exam of that class and you get credit for that class. So when you guys are switching your major, you know, just see what you can take credit by exam, what the transition is, and that could really help. Just a little disclaimer, um, when you're doing this credit by exam thing, uh, personally, I had to get permission from the math department um, to take that exam. Also use DegreeWorks because that's a way for you to um, look at the classes that you've already taken and to see what classes you qualify for and see how far along in your major you are and it also has like a what if section where you can put in like additional majors or a change of major to see um, how much extra work it would be to complete that major yeah that's a good resource other than change oh wait 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 hold on we're not done with that yet how exactly do you change your major? Because we just missed that major part. <laughs> Get it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, okay, so how do you change your major? Basically, online, if you Google NJIT, like, change major form, it's on there. Um, you print out the form, you bring it to your academic advisor, and they sign off on it, and then you bring it to a registrar. And then within a few days or weeks, you know, that change will show up on your NJIT account. Honestly, the changing major process at NJIT is really not difficult. It's just about printing out the forms, getting them signed by your advisors, and bringing them to the registrar. So it's it's a pretty timely matter. What? Does that make sense? Another very popular thing is to like add a major or add a minor, which is exactly what Amrita did. She is well. I'll let you talk about it. Okay, so I'm a computer science. I talk a lot. <laughs> So I'm a computer science major, that's what I came in as, and spring semester of freshman year I decided to add an applied math major, and for those two, for those two majors there's actually already a plan in like a course catalog for- Oh, hi, I didn't see you there, I was just checking my course catalog on the NJIT website, look how fun! just some things could vary because that's very general that's for everyone so some things could vary for you specifically um, applied math and computer science is just very similar co course requirements so it's a bit easier for me how do you actually add the major okay so if you want to add the major it's very similar to um, changing your major except when you get the form you just write that you want to change to a double major and you add um, just write down what, what two majors you want then you just get it signed off by your academic advisor who's gonna see if you meet all the requirements and then you're gonna have to go to the um, major department of the new major that you're adding on and get 
a signature from the head and then you just okay, once again drop it off at the registrar. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of work. Um, chase those degree dreams and degree works. Just hit the beach. Um, while we were at the beach, we did discuss majors and minors. You know, obviously, we, we had to be prepared. Just like you're going to be prepared for your double major or switching major or whatever. Yeah, so we went to the beach. It was a really good, good time. Got super tan. I mean, you can't tell, but... No, she just burned. <gasps> so on a more serious note, um, when you're switching, like, you definitely don't want to end up being behind. You don't want to, like, mess up with your own plan if you have that going in. So if you're choosing to switch your major, the best time to do that would be freshman year. But then, obviously, if you're not sure, like, what you want to switch to or the process, then you can wait some time and um, take classes from the major that you want to switch to. So you don't want to like end up doing everything for this one major and then realize that, oh, you want to do something totally different, which people do. And you know, that, that's, um, that's amazing, but just try to make it as efficient. Okay, so here's a funny story. Actually, it's not that funny, but when I was switching my major, um, all my friends knew that like I really like business, I was really into business clubs when I was in high school, business is what I want to work in after college, so I was switching from business and information systems to computer science, and all my friends were like, what, Edin, why are you switching from business, don't you really like business? Okay, so my friends from college don't actually sound like that, um, so I did portray them incorrectly, and if you are one of my friends from college watching this right now, <laughs> well, sorry. And, I mean, I knew why I was switching to computer science. It was just um, interesting to me, and I felt like I could do a lot with it in the business world. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to switch. And none of my friends understood, but obviously they all, like, supported the decision. But sometimes, even, like... I forgot why I switched my major. So I'd be hanging out with my friends and I'm like, why did I switch to computer science? And they're like, we don't know. And I'm like, no, 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 I remember why I switched. So all is good. But I think that if you really find something that you like and you think that it's gonna be more useful in your future, then it's definitely a good idea to switch. And even if you're not 100% sure, because I wasn't 100% sure that I was gonna love computer science, you know? At the time I only took one class, but I was sure that it was going to be more useful to me and more enjoyable to me as a major and then more useful like with the career that I want to go into. But also, but also this is just, just me. me. So. So. Freshman year is honestly um, definitely the easiest time to switch your major. and it's But like, it's not the only time. Yeah. She's tracing the table. She's like a child. I definitely do think that everybody has like their own journey to finding out what they want to major in and what's going to be best for them. And part of the fun of college is just seeing like, what are you going to enjoy most? Are you going to change? Are you going to stay? You know, so just enjoy that journey and ride it out. You can always declare a minor if you choose to do that. Minors are really beneficial. They give you like a taste of... <laughs> yeah, they give you like a taste, I guess, of another field. Um, so that yeah. could be really cool, and you would like really only need to declare that. I, mean, I don't know, like it my be... soph sophomore, junior year. Mm -hmm. Like it's not, it's not as difficult as switching a major. And honestly, like based on the minor, it might not even be too many extra. Goals. So sometimes, like well. you'll be able to work your minor into your major and basically not have to take any more extra classes that's rare okay other than your major and minor here's something really important don't just focus everything on that because you also want to have fun actually once i like jumped the fence onto the field to go play soccer with these like random people maybe no is this allowed no yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no it's not please do not it's allowed. Okay, don't get don't go over there though <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did he say yeah? Oh my god, I think he said yeah. Oh my god. Why did he say Why is it? Why is it? Oh, he go? <laughs> All right, this is. Oh, oh, there we go. This is totally off topic. Here's the watermelon from the morning.
<laughs> but um, so we're eating watermelon. Okay, obviously we're eating watermelon right now. Anyway, we have just finished freshman year in college, and yet neither one of us knows how to actually cut a watermelon. No, but like a full watermelon. <laughs> so I guess at some point in our lives, we're gonna have to cut watermelon, but probably not in like the dorms. <laughs> Do you think we can cut watermelon in the dorms? Um, I don't think anyone brings a watermelon to the dorms. I'm rooming with Amritha next year, and I'm gonna bring a watermelon to the dorm and start cutting it up in our room. So stay tuned to see how she reacts. Alrighty, so that was our video about majors and minors at NJIT. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Also, like and subscribe! subscribe. Thank you to Amritha for being here. Um, okay, this is like kind of an awkward outro, but peace. peace. <laughs>